Am I too high? <laughs> oh, I can't forget. No, Chong, but don't jag a bar. Don't kill Kepu Sang Yong, they are paid on Fabric Gun. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's that time of year again. Ride or, Ride or die. die, best of beauty, mm. makeup version. Makeup version. So, I was under the premise that it's supposed to be only K beauty, so I only have K beauty, but you have a mixed bag, um, right? This is not K beauty. The, it, I was like, just in case. Oh, okay. So, I, I have a K beauty one. Alright, right? cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna be talking about our favorite. They will... Favorite makeup of this year. Yeah, I tried really hard. I had so you many. You so much to choose I had from. so many because I reviewed so much makeup. Mm -hmm. I had to make the stuff because I also had to think about way back in the beginning of the year as well But because I, I forget easily. Mm -hmm. For each category, I remember using often because mm -hmm. I have so much makeup. There's some makeup I'll use. I like it, but I won't use it often because there's so much more other makeup. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll just go through each category. Yeah. Full face of makeup and... Uh, yeah. Next time when we do this, we should do it like a get ready with me version. Style? Oh, and then that's just, awesome. yeah. yeah. Sorry, we're like planning for 2019 or 2018, 2018 already. already. Mm. All right, shall we get started? Go. First product is a primer. Primer. Ready, go. This was last year's of favorite, of but course. I just can't get. Like, all other primers that I've tried just doesn't stick well on my mm -hmm. skin as much as this. It's like glue. Yeah, have it really is. It? Yeah, I have. Okay, mm -hmm. it's great. I I'll swatch in this video too, but it's like a it very so sticky, sticky product, but you just have to keep tapping it in onto your skin. And then once it fully absorbs, it just becomes this really smooth, um, canvas for your makeup and I just love how it grips my makeup and my makeup lasts all day. Yeah, because when people review makeup, mm -hmm. one thing that they, they always talk about coverage, mm -hmm. they always talk about the way it makes your skin look, but one thing a lot of people don't remember is adherence. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because it, it can, something can have really great coverage, but if it doesn't adhere well to your skin, mm -hmm. it's not going to look good throughout the day. So if you have a problem with the foundation, um, adhering to your skin, this will, it's it's a glue, basically. Mm. And you so. can use this before sunscreen or after sunscreen. Mm. Um, it, it, the order really doesn't matter, but I like to use this after sunscreen mm -hmm. and then let my makeup just like grip onto mm -hmm. this makeup glue. You, grip is like the best word to describe. Yeah. It really feels like that. I really like this product. Yeah, awesome. And yeah, I know. It was featured last year, but I just haven't discovered a new primer that I liked. Good, good, good. <laughs> I mean, right. Nikki Tutorials talk about that. Oh, really? Yeah. It was one of her fa monthly favorites. Wow. Yeah. Good. Good job. It's, jelly it's on um, Sephora, too. Yeah. Yeah. For me, my favorite was is a base. Mm. But primer, there's like the primers that fill in your pores. There's mm. primers that fill, uh, make your makeup last longer. But for me, for some reason, with my skin, I feel like my skin looks better without primer. Mm. So in this one, I'm including a base. The style on the Back to Baby Makeup Base SPF 30 PA Triple Plus. It is just like, like a mint green primer, so it kind of calms down redness in my skin because my Ooh. face is really red. So um, for this, I try to use only as much as I need to cover up the redness on the center of my face because I feel like, I actually feel like with this one, if you use too much, it's almost like sun, like bad sunscreen where it yeah. will make your foundation worse. So I only use a little bit, kind of smooths my skin out a little bit, but I use it mostly just so that I can use less foundation. And so um, it brightens up the skin a little bit because if you use too much as well, you can get white cast. So I only use the tiniest now because the level of green in here is really high. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been using this like all year since Aww. I got it. It's kind of like a color correcting. It, it, yeah, it's a color correcting right? base, yeah, pretty oh, much. We should have included like a color correcting mm -hmm. um, palette because this year I fell in love with the Style Nanda 3 CE one. Mm, the six palette, the yeah, six pan one. Yeah, so mm, good. I like yeah. it better than Pony. You do? Yeah. I see. Did, have you tried it? The one from the, the 3 CE I've had. I've always it's, seen it, but. It's like much thicker. It looks like the MAC one. Yeah, it does, mm -hmm. but. That's for next time, sorry. We're like going off tension. Okay. <laughs> Base makeup, one, two, three. Oh wait. Done. Base makeup, one, two. Done. <laughs> so I have two cushions. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a foundation type of mm -hmm. gal. I just don't like how thick it feels. Mm -hmm. I know not all foundations feel that way. This year I tested out the Just Jet, the VDL, the Too Cool For School. All of them are quite lightweight, but at the end of the day, I would always go back to cushion foundations because they're so convenient to use mm -hmm. and it's so easy to touch up throughout the day. Yeah. And this year I tried 
a couple cushions here and there, but I would have to give these two a shout out. So I actually did a full on review for both of these. Mm -hmm. I tried this one for a week and this one for a week. Mm -hmm. And the Moonshot one, I tried it because I saw your review on it. Yep. And I just like Im immediately fell in love because the coverage is great. It's really good. Like, matte finish. I think we're both wearing it today. Y yeah, mm -hmm. we are. And also... Matte? You think it's matte? It's a bit matte than like the Choi Arake like very watery, uh -huh. like it doesn't give me a dewy finish. Uh, it's definitely not dewy, but I would, for me, I would call it matte. Because okay. uh, throughout the day, it, it will turn glowier. Yeah, right. But it's not, I think it says, what's the name of it? The Face Perfection Balm Cushion. Yeah, what is her balm? I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get you feel glowy. But it's more, it's not super mm -hmm. dewy. It's almost like the balm that the kind of glow you get from putting moisturizer yeah. on. Yeah, so not. it's between glowy and matte, like yeah. right mm -hmm. there. Um, so I do really enjoy this one. Um, but later I discovered the Cosarex Clear Fit Blemish Cushion. Stuff is no joke. And this is like supposed to be like a skincare cushion. Mm -hmm. And the coverage for this is even insanely high. Better than this. It basically when I was in California, I tried I wore this like through 100 degree weather. I did the spicy noodle challenge wearing this. <laughs> it went through some extreme conditions, right. and my my skin just looked great. Like all my friends were complimenting, like, "Wow, your skin still looks good under this hot weather. <laughs> like, how come you don't like? It, it doesn't look like you're like sweating and whatnot." Mm -hmm. And I think that this is just great in these extreme conditions. Right, right, right. I was looking at the ingredients in mm. this, and a lot of the first half of the ingredient list is just pigment. Yeah. So it's like, it's even more coverage than my Pony Effect ones. Yeah. Which I kind of like, are high on my list, but this, like, like tiny like dip or else it's already too much. Right. Yeah. So well, how I like to use this, like it, the very first time I tried it, it looked very thick because I because did. Because you didn't, you don't, you don't how much right. coverage but it But like has. throughout the, t throughout the weeks and months, mm -hmm. I would only apply it where it needed coverage See, yeah. the most and then I would just blend, blend the rest. around it. Yeah. yeah. I love these two cushions and yeah, they're much more affordable than like foundation foundations mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them come with refills. These don't though. Oh, these don't? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Well, I mean, you can probably buy refills, yeah. but when in Korea, like if you buy a cushion from Hera or Sarwa, so it always comes with that extra refill, but mm -hmm. these two didn't. Maybe they do sell ones with refills, but mm -hmm. I didn't get the ones with refills. But they do have a mirror and a, an applicator with foundation. Yes. It's just the foundation. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to switch out the applicator mm -hmm. because it gets really gross. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I don't even want to like show you guys. One, yeah, one thing I don't like about the Moonshot mm -hmm. one, the applicator, is that for me, but my fingers are huge and I can only fit uh, two fingers. I feel more comfortable with three. Yeah. But uh, that's just my new little thing, but. No, I, I get what you mean mm -hmm. though. But I, I just, I like Moonshot because it's that, a YG makeup really, really, brand. Okay. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm glad you put that because that's one of my top cushions this Which year. Which one? This one? Both actually. Oh, okay. But this is mostly mo the Moonshot one. Mm. For me, oh, let me talk about this one first. The Cleo Kill Cover, Cleo, like, for me, honestly, probably my, one of my favorite brands this whole year mm. um, is really great stuff. You do, did talk about Clio products a lot this uh -huh. year. Their base makeup is like A+, plus mm. and then Petty Petra, which is a subsidiary of Clio, uh -huh. A+. Plus. But the this is their Foundwear Cushion XP, and it's a renewal of the one that they already had. Mm. So it's like the new packaging. I like how the front is a mirror, so if you need to check something, mm. it just you don't have to open it, it's already here. Um, I think, does this come with a refill? I'm not sure. This one, I actually always, like in my head, I could always compare it to this one. It's just so I find this one a, long, a little bit more long wearing than this one, but I have oily skin, so that must be, if you have dry skin, I, I think um, you'd be better off with this one maybe, because mm -hmm. this one has a little bit better oil controlling mm -hmm. power, but again, I have more oily skin, so that oil will break down product faster. Mm -hmm. But this one apparently, the original one was supposed to last 24 hours, but one of the claims was that this will last 48 hours. Mm -hmm. I don't wear makeup that long, but I noticed I can wear this all day without having to worry about it. Um, and just like that one, the coverage is really high. Uh, pro I'm probably not as high as that one though. Yeah, um, this is like Cosarex, I love their skincare mm -hmm. because it really helped with like my acne and acne scarring. Mm -hmm. So when they came out with the cushion, I was very curious and I thought it was gonna be those skincare cushions that like barely cover. Mm, right, 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 no. right, right. No, no, mm -hmm. like, That's what I was thinking going into yeah. it. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So with this one, I just like how a little bit goes such a long way with coverage. Mm -hmm. And because you're using a little product, it still looks like skin. So you're not like caking it on. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, I noticed that it does definitely fill in like pores and makes the skin just look much smoother. 
smoother. Mm. It's like better, but it still looks like skin. So that's why I like this a lot. And this is kind of like the, I guess the liquid version of this. Mm. Um, what I liked about this one is because it's so high coverage and like heavy in pigment, I use only like not even a full pump, like like this much and then I dot it on my face and I use one, one of those toothbrush looking brushes yeah. and I just smooth oh. it out and my skin looks it's fully covered. It still looks like skin. It has enough yellow in, in it so that it matches my skin well, mm -hmm. but it has a little bit of like almost like a brightening property to it because it does have like a little bit of a natural glow to it. And it just lasts a lot all day for me. I do so obviously, I, I still have to use like a separate concealer for my dark circles. But other than that, uh, the Cover Stay Foundation for Pony Effect is like my go to liquid foundation. Because Pony Effect is his go to makeup. It's my go to, <laughs> honestly, yes. And I just like how it, even though, because when it says Cover Stay, I mean, oh, it must be one of those long wearing ones, but mm -hmm. a lot of them tend to be thin and drying. But this one's thin, but not drying and super moisturizing, but it's just between. It looks, it just looks natural, I guess. Did you use that when you did my makeup? This one, what did I, I use? I don't think you used I used the other, other version, one, right? the Seamless. That one is a little less coverage and it's more glowy. This, this one is definitely if you need a little bit more coverage. Mm -hmm. And I like how there's like five shades, I guess. Oh. This is nude beige. All right. But, uh, yeah. I love the name of some Clio products. Kill cover. They are so extra with their names, honestly. And I really like the model for Cleo. Cleo, it's um, Kong Yujin. Mm -hmm. She's such a yeah, like. I love like her, like mm -hmm. the way she dresses, her personality, her dramas. I don't know. That's like why she's so popular. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to concealer. Yes. Okay. What is this? It's the Cosrx Spot concealer. Oh, I didn't have that. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go. show you. So, like the cushion, mm -hmm. it is. Super high coverage, really? and I don't use it on my the back of my hand right away. I just like put it on like a cushion, mm -hmm. and because it's like one drop is still so much, I like kind of fold it on uh. the thing, and then <laughs> like it's such great coverage. It's such a really good color for Asian. Yes, sometimes. this is in twenty three. Yeah. Really good. Before I discovered this, the concealer I was gonna give an award to this year mm. would have been the Sam Perfect Tip. Oh yeah, right, a classic. Right. Classic. But like once I discovered this, I sometimes just use this concealer, mm. and it doesn't break me out. It has like Cosrx is all about skincare, so I mm -hmm. think they really wanted their makeup products to have to good match. coverage and you know like yeah. be good for the skin. Um, really yeah, natural. I love this. It doesn't stick in the lines. Mm -mm. I mean, it's just the back of my hand, but it doesn't stick in the fine lines. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like it's not even there. Perfect. So for me, Pony effect. Pony, pony, pro, pony. Pro Fit Liquid Concealer. Did you, oh no, you did the other pony concealer last year. The, the one in the pot. Ah, yeah. good on that. Yeah. This, I've been reaching because my skin got a lot better. Mm -hmm. So for me, a lot of foundations will cover most things for me. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do is I'll take a slightly lighter or same color concealer and put it like in the center. Mm -hmm. uh, because I like to put a very light layer over a foundation on my face. And then usually it'll be still a little bit red around here in the center. Mm -hmm. And I'll use like a liquid concealer like this to like brighten the middle of my face. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect because it's really... Well, the one, a little bit, again, goes a long, long way. Like, you need such like a tiny amount. And it still remains like really chok chok It's mm -hmm. like, it remains skin-like. Um, but there's like no, it doesn't skimp out on pigment because it's just like so thick with pigment that you need such a little bit of, this little amount of product. That it lasts all day. And the fact that it's more chok chok it doesn't look dry on, because a lot of concealers will look dry on the skin, mm -hmm. especially under the eyes. But this one blends in like flawlessly with any foundation I use it with. Mm -hmm. And it just, it almost has like a pore filling quality to it. It just perfects whatever you put it on, to, on top of. So mm -hmm. that's why I really like this one. This one doesn't have a shiny effect, as mm -hmm. you can tell. It's very matte. It's, it's matte, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's another reason why I like this one. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know, I want to try this. I like the packaging for Pony mm, Effect. Yeah. Rose but golden. like if you use it often, like the lettering goes away. That's Luckily, the they, they updated their packaging. Oh, they did? Yeah, you have the older one. I do. Yeah. I'll show but you guys But definitely. Later. Yeah, they ch they had the packaging where you can rub off the lettering, but it's like, uh, it's ch they changed it now right. for the better. The number one Pony Effect fan. Honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Powder. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da. Which one's that? Actually, I have two. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> the skin food one, the peach one. Oh, yeah. wait! Didn't you talk about this last time? I think I think so. They updated it. So oh, they I did? think it's the same product, just a slightly different Does packaging. Does it still smell amazing? 
It smells more like peach. I think the first was peach sake or something, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just peach. It smells a little more smoother, mm -hmm, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's just like an HD powder. Mm. Really great overall. It's called multi finish powder, but I really just use this to set my face. Mm -hmm. oh, you have to be careful because. It gets everywhere. Yeah, I just opened it and was yeah, like, Yeah, you, you might inhale it, so be careful. But uh, such a little goes a long way, and it sets your makeup. It keeps me pretty matte, mm -hmm. um, and I do recommend using it with a puff, though, mm. uh, to really set the face. I'm not a huge fan. Like, if you have normal skin to dry skin, using, like, a big powder brush is fine. But for me, I have oily skin, so I need to use, like, a puff to push it into the skin. Ah, okay. Mm. Uh, and then this one is, like, the pressed... This is a pressed powder foundation, actually. Oh, okay. And I don't necessarily use this to set my makeup, but I use it to add more cover. Like, just like this concealer, I use it in the center of my face, mm -hmm. and it, it covers the last bit of redness that I might have, and I really like to use it to blend out my nose contour if I'm mm -hmm. doing powder contour. It blends everything out and it just makes everything look more perfect because it is a foundation. Mm -hmm. It covers my pores more, it gives me a little bit more coverage, but I don't put this everywhere because it's quite thick for a powder, but yeah. Mine is Loha Cell. I love Loha Cell. It's like a medicinal brand. Mm. It's a no sebum loose powder. And I've tried so many loose powders in Korea, mainly because it's not expensive. So like mm. Innisfree, you can go and get the $6 no sebum powder or the no sebum blur powder for like 8,000 won. Yeah. Or like even the skin food one is inexpensive. Mm. Um, but I actually received this as a gift from Sunny Dahe. I think mm. she gave it to me first to try. Mm. And I just like instantly fell in love because it's a lot thinner than all the loose puffs really? that I've tried. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like hard to explain. I actually don't use this puff because of all these little holes, if I use it like this, the dots like... Oh, right, right, you know right, what right. I, mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, but kind of yeah, okay. I just go like this and then use a makeup brush and then use this. And oh, then just like, I see. Okay, yeah, okay. but feel like how smooth it is. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's, it's pretty thin. I love it. Like the powder... Kind of reminds me of the uh, kind of like the beauty bakery ones. Yeah. Beauty bakery has a super oh, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's so. Yeah, good. it's super smoothing. Like you, you probably cannot see from all the way over here. No, but it's so. It's really smooth. smooth. It's okay. amazing. So you can probably I'm, skip out on pore primer. Mm -hmm. Just use your foundation and this. Mm -hmm. okay. Or sometimes I use this as a primer before I apply oh, yeah, yeah. foundation. Uh -huh. And I use this as an eye makeup primer too. Mm -hmm. is because yeah. it's just like, it's like an all-in-one kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I just love how smooth my skin feels yeah. after using this, right? Yeah, and almost, I don't think, it doesn't look like it gives too much of like a white cast either. Yeah. It kind of just blends into the, the mm -hmm. foundation itself. It's so like... Okay. It's so like thin. Yeah, that's what I find. That's really important for me with powder. Mm. Contour, blush, and highlight. That I'm. Contour, blush, and highlight. Same. Okay, so this is like going to be a lot of explaining to do, so I'll just quickly go over it. No, so, take your time. <laughs> take all the time. <laughs> this palette, remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were sad that there wasn't a cafe in the beauty store right next to it. So mm -hmm. we walked into Innisfree and realized that they had this new like concept of like building your own palette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and you notice a lot of brands followed. Innisfree is really affordable. Um, actually, when we first purchased this, we were like $48 for a palette. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, it's because this um, case was like nine. and But each of the thing in here is like 5,000 to 8,000 yeah. won. So really, so, you can make it as cheap as you want. Yeah, it's like a perfect <laughs> beginner makeup palette. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but but for highlight, I use this one because mm -hmm. it's just like a very natural, natural highlight. highlight. Mm -hmm. So I just like use it on my nose, on my cheekbones, and sometimes my forehead. And this contour right here, I hit pan on it. Wow. I use it only for my nose. Mm, nose yeah. contour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks really natural. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like contouring my face, here's another oh, hit pan. I hit pan on the hula. The hula, honey. So mm -hmm. And for yeah. blush, I mix both the Dallas and Coralista like this together. Mm -hmm. I don't use this brush, but... What, what palette is this? The Benefit Chica Thon. Oh, Chica. That's so I cute. I love this palette. Yeah, it's cute. It smells good, too. Oh, good on that. Yeah, that's the thing. I've been. That's why I had a hard time in this category because a lot of my like face products were mm -hmm. American. Yeah. And the, the the thing is, I didn't mention this, but I thought it was only K Beauty, but we're like, oh no, it's anything. And then I realized, actually, same as me. I have a contour, whatever, whatever palette. The thing is, like I just said, I've been using a lot of American stuff 
for my blush contour and highlight. But I remember using this a lot at like the beginning of the year. That's why I almost forgot about this. Mm -hmm. But this is the Etude House Personal Color Contouring Palette. And this is the power texture. They have a cream one, but um, I really like the colors that they have in here. The two contour colors have like kind of like green, uh, mossy undertone to it, so it's really great for contouring. It looks really natural. It's not too warm on the skin. And you hit pan. I did. I think this is the first product I saw. That I hit pan on? Yeah. Because I have so many. He never hits pan. I never hit pan on things. Um, and the thing is, I was a little, I was like, oh, that looks cute, but it looks like one of those things that's not that pigmented or whatever. Mm -hmm. This, uh, it's it, it shows up. It shows up. Etude House is really good with pigment. Yeah. Because for a while, I was like, Etude House isn't that pigmented. And then le in the last few years, they really start to uh, mm -hmm. step up their game or whatever. So um, this stuff is super blendable, super pigmented. And um, I just have to make sure I'm using good foundation and stuff because um, the lasting power is just average. But everything else, other than, is I, that's why I always reach for it because mirror is huge and you have all of the, the cheek products that you need. The blush in here is really, this is not my pick for this year, but um, it's a really great like brightening sort of blush. Um, so I really like that for my skin tone. And then the highlighters. the highlighters here, I did, see the thing is, these are my top highlighters for this year, this MAC one and this Makeup Forever one, but again, like I was thinking it was K-Beauty. Mm -hmm. So I picked the highlighter here because like that one, it's really natural. Which it, one? Uh, oh, the it is free. It's yeah. more like a glow rather than like a oh, blinding highlight. Yeah. So um, it's just everything is in here. So and it's a very natural. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what makes this really good for like daily makeup. Yeah, that, I think that's the case for most Korean palettes. Exactly. You want yeah. that natural look. Natural, right? That's right, why right. it's not too dark. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And Mike, I don't know if I talked about this last year. I probably did. You but might have. Probably. I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the Count On Me blush from Pony Effect. Mm -hmm. They're one of our personal cheek colors. And I like this so much because it's a really natural, it's a pink, but it's so warm mm -hmm. that it matches well with my warm skin tone. And um, it's deep enough, because a lot of blushes in Korea are like really white. Ah, uh, yes. Which is, which is cute and everything. But for me, I really like the kind of like boyish vibe of this blush, so. I um, like that color. Yeah, it's a really uh, warm, warm pink, I mean. <laughs> Um, and it's really smooth, blendable, et cetera, et cetera. But now that I know that this could be anything other than KBB, um, these are my favorite kind of like highlighters Mac for sure. Mac, uh, Mac Soft and Gentle, classic. It's more warm tone. But I have to be careful because I sometimes I'm so into like the blinding highlight that I build this up, but it actually turns into a color oh. on your cheek. And I almost thought it was a blush at first, but um, it has like a golden undertone. But if I want something, I use this one mostly for my nose highlight, but this is more of like a pinkish Ooh. cool tone highlight, but this is like in intense. So. so pretty. Yeah. So how many Pony Effect products did you use? You are like so four. to me. Wow. <laughs> All, All right, so next we have, what do you do right after Blush, contour, highlight. So after I do, that's when I can start like my eye makeup. Okay. I uh, probably my brows. I probably do my brows. Okay. After. So brow product. Brow. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ta -da. Oh, what's this? So you put brow cara, uh -huh. which is this. This is like my go-to's, yeah. but I didn't. I was like, I need to fill in my brows. Ah, <laughs> so brow okay, pencil. okay, okay. You don't need to because you already have the hair. I'm missing half my hair on like this brow. <laughs> but you want to talk about that one? Yeah, the benefit ones. The packaging is so... So extra. Yeah. I love it. The whole brow range. Yeah, I mean, they're known for their brow products, right? Mm. Um, before this, I think the one I like raved about was the Apu Skinny Brow Cara because mm. it's so easy to control. Yep. But I get why benefit is known for their brow products because mm -hmm. it's just so simple to use. Mm -hmm. It's very pigmented, so you don't have to keep going like this. It's just like one, two, and then yeah. you're done. Okay. It's just super quick and easy. I I love it. I don't know how else to describe to talk about. Right, like right. the it's brow just, It's just a good brow Maybe color. like it didn't break me out because mm -hmm. sometimes when I use like makeup. It, you can actually break out under your brow. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I hate that, but I've been using this for some time now and I do enjoy using it and yeah. I like the, way my brows look afterwards. Does it set, does it like set your brows like a gel does? The eyebrow gel? It looks like I use it every day. I don't know mm. how to describe gel. Like, like if your brows are unruly, if you uh -huh. try to brush them out, will hold it in place? Oh yes, okay. definitely. Right. I love this. All right, awesome. Mm -hmm. So for me, I do have a brow pencil because I need to fill in my brows. Mm -hmm. I've tried so many brow, I change them all the time, but one that I always reach for, and also because it's really cheap, is the Egg Lips mm -hmm. Natural Auto Brow Eyebrow. This is kind of like the elf of Korea. Ah, uh, yeah, Ooh, the, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, the, the lately, like all the carpeting in this building is making us like shock each other. <laughs> but um, this one, Egg Lips and B are kind of like the elf of Korea, but this one, it's just like the Etude House one I used for so, such a long time. Mm -hmm. um, one end is a, 
kind of triangle shaped um, yeah, brow I know pencil, which one you're talking about. and the other end is just like a brow spoolie. But mm -hmm. it's just it's really uh, it's on the not as hard side. It's more of a soft waxy mm -hmm. texture, which I like because I do need to draw in a lot of my brow because mm -hmm. I do like a really defined brow. Um, so I wouldn't say it's good for beginners. If you're a beginner, you might want to start with like a really hard formula. Mm -hmm. um, but I just like how it's easy it is, like how quick I can get a brow on with this. Where can you get this brand? This, I think they sell it online pretty online. much, mostly. It's one of those... Uh, online exclusive. It's, yeah, it's famous, but it's most of it is online. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's like um, Bia. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Only few stores have Bia, mm. like Lopes. And then for Brow Cara... Oh. Number six. <laughs> right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. It's the last... No, it's not the last it's one. Not, <laughs> so this one, it was mostly just... Oh, I have something in my eye. Um, for me, because I had so many different hair colors throughout the year, my brow, I was like, what, like, what do I color my brows? It's really I think just... I it up. Oh, thank, yeah. thank God. It's pretty much just this. Um, one is just like a light brown color, mm -hmm. but this is the customized shade, and it basically blanks out and bleaches your brows uh, temporarily. That is so cool! Mm. Wait, so, is this like the only product that does that? That's the that I found. That's so cool! Yeah. It kind of like blanks out your uh, brow hair and then you can put whatever brow color on top. So it's almost like putting foundation on your lips before your lipstick to yeah, make it show up. Yeah, that's so cool! Yeah, so I have these are like my favorite in tandem because the way that it looks, it just matches even like when I had that blue hair. Mm -hmm. I thought it just made my eyebrows match pretty well, even though technically it's more like a, br a blondie brown color. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I like these. And I'm not a big... F the formula is just okay. I mostly just use it because it colors my brows the way I want it colored. But mm -hmm. other than that, I just... Yeah, this is one I reach for the most. Yep. Um, eyeshadow? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Ta -da. Mamongdu. Mamongdu. That's such a pretty. I still need to pick that up. Have you I am so watched this? I did. You When I was. Uh, where were we? We were in New York, I think. You're like, try this. I was like, oh. It's my. so pretty. So I wonder if you can see. We'll have like a little shot in look there. Look at this. So pigmented. I am so. Oh my god. Like, look at this. I honestly think I'm, Mamongdu just did it with the. I cannot. Look at this. It's just. Those are like the colors of my life. I'm, I'm, I'm doing once, you know? Stop it. I can't. It's so pretty. I'm so attracted to those colors. Like the I green, know, right? like caramely, brownie, mm -hmm. bronzy. <gasps> Me too. I mean, I don't really explore. I should explore with mm -hmm. eyeshadow, but... Will you find something good, girl? Yeah, I bitch. always just go with this and... <sighs> this eyeshadow palette just like proved me wrong. Mm. Like, this is such a good, like really pigmented mm. eyeshadow palette. Yeah. And it's not like $40. <laughs> because, so my friend Amy from Vagabond Youth, mm -hmm. she has the oh, Charlotte yeah. Til Tilbury oh, version yeah? of this. It's like $40 to $50. Yeah, it is, it is. I think this is $20? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the Charlotte Tilbury one as well. That one is a little bit, oh, how, do you, how would you describe it? This one, mm, It's so smooth. It's so really smooth, right? Feel it. Oh it's almost like a moussey. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, stop. You know how like Moonshot has the eyeshadow, the pigment things? Mm. It's like okay. the matte version of that. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like the powdery version of that? Yeah, I think oh so too. Because the Moonshot, the problem with that is um, if you don't use it, the Proper. product gets really hard. Oh, and like so eyeliners you know, do? Yeah. Like gel liners? So you have to toss it out. But with this, it like stays in that state. Mm -hmm. This was like my go-to eyeshadow palette for like a season. Mm. And still I'm using a little yeah, bit of it. I like how you get that high shine, but it's not like shimmery glittery shine. It's like a glow almost. It's almost like a really glowy highlighter. It's so pretty. Stop it. I'm gonna buy this shit when I leave. You have to. I will. I bought it. <laughs> so the eyeshadow palette I actually used the most and was like the most obsessed with was actually the modern renaissance. But again, like I said, when I was preparing this, I was like, oh, it has to be K-Beauty. Oh. So this was actually the most recent thing I discovered. Because okay. I get eyeshadow palettes is something I try so many different things of. Mm -hmm. But this one, like, I'm like obsessed with it ever since I picked it up. Like, it was only been a few weeks, too. Packaging is so pretty. It's so cute. 3CE, their new Mood Recipe Collection. Mm -hmm. They have three palettes, and this is my favorite. The first one is all matte. This, one, this is the second one. The third one is like mostly glitter. Mm -hmm. So this is a good combination of both. Oh. And kind of like your Mamondo one, it has similar like color family. I'm gonna swatch some. Hmm. It's like the caramely, pinky, Ooh. pinky brown, like those tones. Um, wow. Yeah, they're really freaking pretty. Oh, wow. It's also Which very is, pigmented. Yeah. You know, 
This proved me wrong with uh, 3C eyeshadows. I used to have like this. I still have the full oh pods. Oh my god, yeah. They're, they, mm. it's, it's good sometimes, but then compare it to this. This, yeah. It's so smooth and The thing limited. is, the, you can see right here, the, uh, the uh, shadow is so soft that, oh. and I didn't even do anything. It's, the fact, whenever I open, the lid is kind of hard, mm. which is a good thing, it keeps it safe. But when you open it, the packaging is so hard that when you open it, it causes this top right mm. shade to like break. So you just have to be careful other than that. The other ones don't do that, but this one, oh, so I'm nice. gonna have to pick this up because mm -hmm. I really like the way it looks. Yeah, you should also check out their lipsticks, their new lipsticks, one. they're all matte. <sighs> And they're all warm, like ready, browny, orangey Don't colors. Don't do this to me, mm -hmm. Eddie. So I just like how <laughs> there's a good mix of matte and like slightly glowy satiny. Mm. Like, and you got your really, I love these two shimmery glitter. Not, they're not glitter, like they're more shimmery shades. Oh. And then a like good amount in between. But I, I use them like everyone if they ask me to do their oh my makeup. Gosh. My, I like normally don't swatch. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> just kidding. But I'm like, I'm just like so interested in that mm -hmm. product. This is really, and the, I just, the, this is, uh, the package is like a soft matte. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Uh, eyeliner? Yep. One, two, three. Done. Which one's that? Just the pony effect one, the of brush. Of course it is. <laughs> the Soap and Glory Super Oh, Soap cat. and Glory. I got this as a gift from a subscriber. Mm. But like this year after going to like a beauty class in Korea, mm. I You went to a beauty class? With uh, Mr. Park Taehyun. Oh my god. Yes. Did you use that? No, 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 he didn't use that. He basically said that the eyeliner trend wasn't trending. So I really? like stopped wearing eyeliner for like a season because I was just like, I'm gonna follow the Korean trend. Was it mostly like eyeshadow and mascara? Eyeshadow, yeah, and mascara. Uh, so like darkening up the ends. Oh, to give that kind of eyeliner. Yeah. Okay, I see, I see, I see. But then recently I just like started using eyeliner again, but this one's really good. I think it's inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And um, if not this one, Kat Von D tattoo liner is mm. always going to be my go-to. I, I think that's available in Target. I saw so before oh, really? Target, yeah. Can I? Mm -hmm. Can I swatch it? Yeah. Wow. So that's a, a felt tip, Yes, right? it's a felt tip. It's a felt tip. Okay, so mine's actually a brush tip. I prefer uh, brushes only because of the way the, the way that I draw my lines. Me but too. I know some people like felt, uh, they think it's a personal preference. But I, I just picked it because I was trying to use it up. I actually didn't like it at first, mm. but as the more I used, the more I liked it. Mm. Uh, I like the brush, like I said, it's like a brush. So for me, because I kind of draw kind of like this, pointing at my eye, and I kind of, it's, it's like running out. But yeah, it's like completely out. It's like a really natural brown color. Uh, but for me, I don't really lie my eyes to like give you eyeliner effect. It's just like to make my eyes look a little bit longer because I have redness on the outer corner of my eyes. You do? Um, yeah, but if I conceal it, my eyes actually look really short. Uh -huh. And I look like I have two dots in the middle of my face, so I have to put eyeliner mm -hmm. to... Um, do you know Bekyon? Has yes, of eyeliner. course I know Bekyon. No, no, no. Did you know that he actually carries eyeliner with him? No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, he carries his favorite eyeliner from Stila. Oh! Yeah, she has to wear eyes so his eyes look longer. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. cute. Oh, but anyway, uh, I love XO. yeah, this is just um, really and, like oh, the formula is really good. It lasts with a, I, as long as I use a primer because my lids are oily. It will it kind of dries in a way like it almost it's almost like a film. Mm -hmm. If you try to rub it, it almost rubs off in like pieces. Oh, that kind of formula. So this. Yeah, this one. Aww. So um, it's it's okay if you have dry skin, you're, you'll be totally fine. If your normal skin is fine, it's just my eyelids are really oily. That's why mm. I just have to, if I use a primer, it's fine. Um, it lasts all day, but um, I just like it's just really easy for me to apply. But my new favorite one is definitely the Tony Molly one. Tony Molly one. Yeah, it's, it's just wow. like a brush. It's like this is a brush liner, and the form is matte. The and it lasts hot like, one. No, because they have that the really new feather popular. one. Oh no, I didn't. See, I have not stepped into a Tony Moly in a long Same. time. I think it's we have some here, I'll give you some. <laughs> they what is it? Re they're kind of rebranding the way. Rebranding themselves. Uh, like uh. I walked by one recently. I didn't go inside because I was like in a hurry. Mm. But it looked like a Sephora. Really? It kind of looks like a Sephora. It's Which like one? Very Which like the one in Myeongdong. I don't know. It just felt like very like clean and like right, everything was so organized. Yeah, because before it was like a, a little messy. In yeah, because there. there's so many different lines. Right. Yeah, they they also changed their logo. Mm, they did a lot of brands changed their logo. Yeah, Vanillaco did. Vanilla, yeah, I was just yeah, 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 Vanilla Vanilla I was like, wait, it looks what? like milk makeup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now that you say okay. that, gotcha. yeah, they're all like rebranding in a way. Okay, oh, mascara, okay. ready? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Two, three. Mascara. What you have? Is that ma ma Majorca? Majolica? Majorca. They all have olive young? Yes, and it's a Japanese brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This has fibers on the, you see? Oh, but it has that, that kind of uh, right. lush. So like if you apply it, mm. these fibers cling on to your lashes, it's so longer. it makes them look longer. And I love getting eyelash extensions because I'm so lazy and like mm. I don't want oh, to yeah. like glue these eyelashes on mm -hmm. and I'm too lazy for that mm -hmm. and I'm so bad at eyelash eyelashes. Like maintenance? Yes, or like you have to no, do it, no. you have to wash a specific way. Don't yeah, you? or like you know, like when you you have to do the glue and then like I'm so oh, bad. Oh, false, false lashes. lashes. Yes, uh, I totally forgot the word for it. Uh, I'm so bad at false lashes. So I really like mascaras that have fibers on them, um, and I really like how it volumizes and lengthens my lashes. Mm, okay, this is the formula because I know the what was the other uh, Japanese one, kiss, kiss, kiss me, kiss me. I haven't tried kiss that. Me, no, I. I have tried that one. I've tried a lot of Japanese mascaras. They're all really good, but... Yeah, is that super waterproof? Because Japanese mascaras are hard to wash off, I feel like. Yes, but mm. the oil cleanser... It takes that, care of it. Yeah, okay. it takes it all out. Okay, so. so you have to worry about flaking throughout the day? Mm -hmm. okay. And I like the uh, wand a mm -hmm. lot. It's not like brush, mm -hmm. so I like this hard plastic thing that mm -hmm. I can just... It's like it's, easy to control. Right, it's small so you don't... Because sometimes, I feel like if the bristles are too long, they might poke your eye. Into, yeah, right, I don't right, like right, that. Right. And that's easy to get it right where you want, like especially at the very root of the lash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mata, mata. All right. But this one. So for me, my favorite mascara was for the longest time was always the Etude House one. The oh uh, yeah, the, the fix. Yeah, curl fix. The curl doctor, fix. Some, something. Yeah, that, yeah, something like that. But um, mm -hmm. I decided to switch things up because I ran out of that one, I think. Mm -hmm. And I really like this one is more recent, mm -hmm. but I really like the formula because it reminds me of that basically. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that this comes in so many different colors, and that's what I like. Mm -hmm. And I've been so into like red brown mascaras, yes. so. Uh, this one from Peripera, the ink color kind of volume setting. There's, I think there's volume and like lengthening, but the brush is really small, so it's good for upper and lower lashes. And I just like how it, it basically, it's not too obvious. I have I, uh, mascara on. Mm -hmm. It just colors them, and it just makes them look longer. It's slightly thicker, but it's not like clumpy. So they, for me, you know, being a boy or whatever, I just want it to look better than their natural state. So that's what I get. I like how this. Is, I love this one, the black rosewood or whatever it's called, because I mean, like this palette, like this eyeshadow palette, and this. I love the way it looks because it's like slightly red. Red. Yeah, yeah. So I think it matches really Ooh, well. Ooh, the packaging, so cute. Yeah, it's like really simple. Lots of peri para. And this like kind of like this this you know like the tints look like this. Yeah. Yeah. So. I like that. Yep. It matches like their other products. Mm -hmm, right, exactly. It's really inexpensive. Yeah. So, I know. We have lip products. Lip products. Doo -doo. This is last year I gave Pony Effect the award, mm -hmm. and this year. Again. Yeah, it's actually gonna be like it's always my go-to lip product because when my lips get really dry I notice that this kind of smooths it out mm -hmm. and then I was talking to Eddie about this earlier but sometimes when you talk too much it kind of like it gets really gross at yeah. times uh -huh. lipstick it budges at the corners yeah the inside of the what part inside your lip starts to like roll up mm -hmm. and yeah you get that line but I don't have a problem with it at all with the pony effects mm -hmm. um so not like what is it? What is that one? This is the I Mimi TikTok tip oh. lip. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Pony Effect, I really like her lip products. Mm -hmm. Like you got me a few of the lipsticks last year mm -hmm. and love them. Mm -hmm. And these are my go-to. I love it more than a lot of the lipsticks that I've tried. And I have a lot of lipsticks. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is it? Right now I'm wearing this with a little mm -hmm. bit of the red one. Yeah. But my summer color is so good. My fall color is on fleek. And this is like spring right here. But mm -hmm. I also, I like using this all like year. on a daily, yeah. like all year. Mm -hmm. And this is like Christmas time red. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Right, I like the thing about the Pony Effect uh, matte lip color formula is that I don't need to it's not one of the ones that dries down to that. You know those foundations that are like, like Estee Lauder. Mm -hmm. It's like really, really thin yeah. and really matte, but really high coverage. Mm -hmm. That one, it's almost like you can think of it as like a, one of those kinds of foundations, but has it still remain, has a bit of thickness to it. So not thickness in the back, like it's goopy on your lips, but it's just that it keeps it from looking like like cracking yes. and like separating on your lips. It still remains. It almost creates like a film on your lips, mm -hmm. so that, um, it lasts longer. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't wear them out because they're, you know, I don't wear that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. But when I, you know, when I'm playing around at home and like I put it on my lips, mm -hmm. it it just looks like a, 
like it made almost like it my, just looks my lips but better exactly depending on the color but right right the formula it's mm -hmm. like my lips but mm -hmm. better as well yeah i'd like to think of it as it locks your lips in the state that they're in mm -hmm. so put a lip mask you know wait a few minutes wipe it off so you're, you're bare lips mm -hmm. put it on and it remains like that throughout the day yeah and like what is it like i had like lamyun in japan mm -hmm. and after eating the lamyun i like barely had to touch up because it's just so long lasting mm -hmm. is long lasting in the name no, it's stay fit. Stay fit. Stay it fit. It stays fit. Um, <laughs> and the thing is, I think it builds well on top of itself. So if you do have to touch up, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel gunky on top. Yes. It kind of melts itself into itself again. So for me, <laughs> this is, I again, I'm not a huge, like I do a lot of lip swatch videos, but I'm actually on a daily basis. I'm not that huge into like lip colors mm -hmm. or whatever, like things like that. I'm more of like a tint person because I'm always like biting my lips, like rubbing off, like biting off whatever's like, on the lips anyway. No, you, you don't pick on it. Sunny picks on her lips. Oh That's why she, she's like always looking for like moisturizing lip products. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, for me, the I'm TikTok tint lip. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, okay, all right. This is basically just like a tint, um, but it's a little bit thicker because it has like moisturizing ingredients in mm -hmm. it that will give you a glossy look. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a tinted gloss. No, like a glossy tint. So I'm saying, and what I I just like this one because of the color. It almost has like a kind of really vampy vibe. I should probably put some on because it makes no sense for me to swatch on my hand. But it's almost like a a muted blood color. So that's why it almost has like an element of naturalness to it. Um, I just like the way it looks on my lips. Um, but you're wearing it today. I actually have a different one on. Oh, it's very vampy. Wow, it's pretty. Yeah, it smells like chocolate. It does. I was like, it smells like candy. It's like the Too Faced oh, chocolate bar palette. Oh, it does. <laughs> I just, I'm honestly, the number one reason why I wear this like all the time is just because of the color. Oh. And I do like how it looks really shiny because my lips look better when they're shiny because my lips are so dry and they're like puckered butthole <laughs> lips. So, yeah, it's like my oh. go-to of the year ever since I discovered this. I like it. It yeah. looks good on you. Thank you. All right. The makeup brand that won your heart this year. Makeup brand? Mmm. Should we do like Western and Korean? West, yeah, sure. So we can do the American one. Benefit. Benefit. Yeah, I just love it so much. Like I'm every get ready with me, every makeup <laughs> tutorial, like I just like can't find any other like palettes, like any contour and blushes that just look so good and natural on my skin. Okay. I love this so much. I'm surprised because for a long time, YouTube, I would always watch YouTubers use Hoola. Mm -hmm. And in my head for some reason, I always thought, uh, with the name or something, like the image of it, mm -hmm. I always thought, oh, it might be like those really red. It actually has a little bit of a, almost like a contour gray color to yes. it. So you can still use it for contour. It doesn't look like, because uh, if you use like a bronzer mm -hmm. to contour, it looks too red. Yes. But this one is like the perfect like color for either bronzing or contouring. So. Right, so benefit one. One for me. Okay, awesome. How about you? For me, Anastasia, uh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I know they have quite a you know, ups and downs this year, but I think it's mostly because of this palette mm -hmm. and um, their, just like the fact that they're one of the actually more inexpensive brands in Sephora. Yeah, wait, and how much is this? This is about $42. Oh! Yeah, but in general, the prices range from like 20 to a bit under $50. Right. But most of the other ones tend to be like a little bit higher. It's almost like Kat Von D. Mm -hmm. Okay. That kind of price range. So of course it's still expensive, it's expensive. but for Sephora, like on the lower end. Mm. But the quality of the product is really good. So I really need. To, I really want to try like their foundation mm. and uh, like love their highlighter palettes and all that. But I just love like the aesthetic of Anastasia. Yeah, I really like the packaging mm -hmm. a lot for Korean brand. Oh, God, I have two. I have one because it just like won me over, mm. and I think you know which one. It's the Mamondu. Mamondu. It's just this. Eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go buy it. It's so pigmented. It's not Anita, right? Yes, or a mom the store in Myeongdong. <laughs> this is all I used for like a good, a long time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really try too much of mom the products, mm -hmm. but I know Sunny really loves the cushion mm -hmm. as well as some of the lip products. Mm -hmm. So I need to get on that. Okay. But in terms of like makeup, to me, it's I always think like, oh, eyeshadow or lipstick. And mm -hmm. that's how I kind of determine if their pigment and right, makeup right, right. is good. Uh -huh. And this just like, I fell in love. And okay. I think I have two more uh, palettes of this, Ooh. like in purple and red. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so that's this how much is, I This is a really good daily. It's okay. like totally my daily makeup mm -hmm. colors because okay. like I said earlier, I don't really explore with like very like intense crazy colors. Like, yeah. Like this. 
No, but it's that's not too intense. Right, there is a, like that section where you can totally wear like daily mm -hmm. makeup. But, like right here. Right here, you get like your yeah. wild colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. For Korean? Korean, I actually have two. Pony and for, Cleo? Just kidding. Pony, well, I've always liked <laughs> yeah, ponies, yeah, yeah, so I feel yeah, like yeah. it's boring to mention that uh -huh. one. So for definitely for base, Cleo, mm -hmm. this is, I only mentioned this one from Cleo, but there have been a lot of different things from them that I, they've released that I really enjoy. So definitely their base products. This one, again, is more recent, but the 3CE, their newest collection has got me, like, I really want to try all of the rest of their makeup. Yes. Um, I mean, I do like their base, their base and stuff, mm -hmm. but like their eyeshadows, their lipsticks are so freaking pretty. Yeah. And um, their, their new blush that came with this collection, like oh, like the um, cushion blushes. Have you no, tried no, no. Those? They're, th those, those I've tried. Those really, really great. But their new powder blush that mm -hmm. come from this collection, they like really mimic the look of natural like mm -hmm. blush color. So I mean, there's a reason why 3CE is so popular, and it's mm -hmm. amazing because 3CE under Salonanda, Salonanda is like one of the best like fashion brands here in South mm -hmm. Korea. Like everyone knows about Salonanda. Yeah. I feel like, um, but e their makeup line, it's like it's cutely packaged, but it's also really like good. Like professional quality. Yeah, I I think I um, talked about their lip products last mm -hmm. year. I just. Yeah, their mm -hmm. lipsticks are really popular. Mm -hmm. I just didn't like their mermaid collection. Oh yeah, it's too cutesy. The packaging, uh, yeah, it's too cutesy. Yeah, it almost but, looks like Claire's <laughs> makeup. <laughs> anyway, mood recipe though, mm -hmm. very good. Very good. Yep. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you go to her channel, subscribe oh. to her. I was gonna say, oh, check the description box because you'll be linking all of these, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, will, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Yes. Yeah, so you can go to our channel. We actually did this, but for skincare. Mm -hmm. So if you are more into skincare, then you can check that. I wouldn't know why you watched up to this point if you're just into skincare and not makeup. <laughs> but you can go watch that and make sure to subscribe to her on Instagram and everything. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Baby, please pick up the phone. 자존심 내려놓고 널 잡았어. 그 어떤 남자들보다 